Hi guys, this is Fryal from Scrumptious Cakes by Fairy and in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve sharp edges with buttercream. So here I have 8 inch round 3 layers cake. So I'm gonna start with filling the cake. You will be needing the same size cake card as the cake. Um, so my cake is 8 inch, I'm using 8 inch cake card. You can use cake board as well, the thick one like this. Um, if you really want to add some more height in the cake. Um, but I think I'm not going to use it, I'm fine with the cake card. So I'm going to take the cake card. I'm going to smear some buttercream all over the cake card. It will help the cake to stick to the board. Now I'm going to place my cake right in the center, like this. I'm going to press down lightly so it sticks to the buttercream. Now I'm going to use my buttercream. I'm going to use this spatula and I'm just going to spread it evenly make sure it's leveled you can add less buttercream if you don't want too much but that's how my average cake is I like good amount of buttercream in the middle of the cake now I'm going to take another layer of the cake I usually like to bake my cakes separately if it's two layers then two layers separately if it's three layers three layers separately because it's easier to chop off the top bit now press down a little bit make sure they are aligned and repeat the process So you just need to keep the spatula straight and move the turntable and it will help you to achieve the flat smooth buttercream layer. I'm just going to clean up the sides. I don't want any brown buttercream. Because my outside buttercream will be pink so it's done now I'm going to take the last layer of the cake and this layer I'm not going to put like straight like this um, I'm going to do upside down so this is the up and this is the down part so I'm going to do upside down to get the flat top make sure the cakes are aligned and press gently from the top. Now I'm going to take my pink buttercream because my cake is going to be pink and I'm going to use this flat spatula because I like using the flat spatula when I'm going around the sides. I'm not going to fill it up a lot. I'm just going to crumb coat first and then the cake will go in the fridge for about half an hour just to give enough time to the buttercream in the middle to set before we start our crumb coating again so just fill in the gaps like this roughly like this now it's all covered what I'm going to do 
I'm going to take a clean spatula that is pushing the spatula to the cake and keep moving my turn table. If you see any hole, any gap, you can fill it in. Now it's done, that's the crumb coat. I'm not too much worried about the top, but I will slightly crumb coat it because my buttercream is pink, my cake is pink, and I don't want any brown crumbs in my pink buttercream. So just very thin layer I'm going to do just to lock in all those crumbs. cleaning up the top a little bit like this not too much worried about that and this is now crumb coated this is the first layer just to lock in all the crumbs of the cake and um, the cake is going to go in the fridge for half an hour but if you live in a hot place like me I live in Dubai and it's pretty hot these days about 40 to 43 degrees temperature um, the cake takes time to set, the buttercream and ganache, even ganache takes time to set. So I'm going to leave it in the fridge for one hour. Um, but if you're in a cold place, then definitely half an hour is enough. Um, so this is going to go in the fridge and then we will come back. You need a cake board. And a baking paper what you're gonna do you're gonna wrap this baking paper around the board you can staple or you can use the tape I'm just using the tape do I prefer using the stapler just can't find my stapler right now so I'm going to do the same with the other side okay so here I have this um, board with the baking paper on let me leave this aside. So here's my cake. I'm going to have a big dollop of buttercream. Going to leave it on the top. Going to use my spatula and spread it around. Like this. Now I'm going to use this board. I'm going to put that on the top of the cake. The cake is quite firm right now. It's just got out of the fridge. And I'm going to let me just move this aside so you can see clearly. I'm just going to hold like this, one hand on the top, one hand at the bottom and carefully flip the cake like this. And I'm going to remove this one drum. Okay, so we just now flipped our cake upside down. Now I'm going to take the buttercream what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this card, this cake card, um, as a guide to fill in the buttercream, as you can see. 
like this. You don't have to be perfect at this stage, just fill it up. Just fill the sides up and we will finish, do the finishing touches in the end. I will see if any gaps left. There is one. So it's all done, as you can see. Just roughly put the buttercream around. And now I'm going to use the side scraper. You can see, it's a bench scraper. I'm going to hold it like this. I'm using my fingers to support it and because it has a handle it just stays at the 90 degree angle so I'm just going to hold it against that card against the cake card and slowly move around like this as you can see, it's pulling away all the extra buttercream and smoothing the sides. So I'm, I have cleaned my spatula and I'm going to go again. Just do it slowly until you get the hang of it. Now you see if there is any gaps or anything. For ganache, you're gonna do exactly the same thing. The process will be exactly the same. It's just that the ganache sets quite quick in the fridge. It takes less time than buttercream. Buttercream takes quite few hours before it goes hard. After every swipe, keep cleaning your side scraper. go again now I'm going to see if my cake is straight and yes it is just clean so now the cake is ready to go back in the fridge. Um, the buttercream takes time to set and we want the buttercream to be really hard. Like it shouldn't be tacky or sticky. It should be like hard because we have to peel off this um, card, this baking paper from the top. So the cake is out of the fridge now and it's just been in the fridge for two and a half hours or so. Um, I'm just going to take another cake board um, and we are going to flip this thing back. So the same thing you will do, put one hand down, one hand on the top, hold firmly and flip quickly. Be very, very careful when you flip your cake. So I'm going to remove the tapes from the back like so, remove the egg bowl and here I have this flat surface on the top and I am gently going to peel this baking sheet, try to do a little bit from all the sides 
do not just pull from one side this gently peel the paper and here it's done so the cake is quite hard as you can see when I'm touching the buttercream it's not coming on my hands it's not tacky at all but it's going to start sweating because of the heat so if you want to cover the cake with fondant, you have to do it quickly at this stage. That's how I do. I don't leave the cake to come on the room temperature because then again, the buttercream goes soft and it's really hard to achieve the sharp edges on the fondant. So here is the sharp edges in buttercream. I hope you like this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.